Then they answered and said before the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or the injunction you have signed, but makes his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was much distressed and set his mind to deliver Daniel. And he labored till the sun went down to rescue him. And then these men came by agreement to the king and said to the king, Know, O king, that it is the law of the Medes and Persians that no injunction or ordinance that the king established can be changed. Then the king commanded and Daniel was brought and cast into the den of lions. The king declared to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually deliver you. And a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, and that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No diversion were brought to him, or, and slept fled from him. Then at break of the day, the king arose and went in haste to the den of lions. As he came near to the den where Daniel was, he cried out in a tone of anguish. The king declared to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to deliver you from the lions? And Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth, and they have not harmed me, because I was found blameless before him. And also before you, O king, I have done no harm. And the king was exceedingly glad and commanded that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no kind of harm was found on him because he had trusted in his God. And the king commanded, and those men who had maliciously accused Daniel were brought and cast into the den of lions, they, their children and their wives. And before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces. And King Darius wrote to all the people, nations, and languages that dwell on all the earth, peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in all my royal dominion people are trembling in fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion shall be to the end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He who has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Sirius, Sirius and Persia. Daniel 6, 13-28. Heavenly Father, bless the hair. In Jesus' mighty, mighty.